Hey guys, so I want to talk real quick about my prediction versus the TRT boxing pick for Tyson Fury versus uh, Wilder. And I just don't have enough time to write it on a tweet and also don't have uh, the space for it. Uh, so I've been telling people for the whole month that Tyson was going to outbox uh, Wilder the entire time, the, the whole fight, right? Um, I've been saying there might be a knockdown, things like that, but that at the end of the day, uh, Tyson Fury will come out victorious, most likely with a unanimous decision. Well, then I ran the numbers on our simulator, and uh, the whole reason I'm making this video is because how surprised I was on how far the numbers are from each other. Um, what that means, and what I'm saying by that, is that the winner, usually on fights like this, let me explain, usually on fights like this, you tend to have, on, on our simulator, you tend to have a... Uh, there's a closer uh, range from the winner with the loser. So, uh, especially when the odds are pretty close, the Vegas odds are pretty close to each other. In this case, the odds are very spread away from each other, uh, which really threw me off because not only that, they are opposite from what my prediction is, which tends not to happen. Um, so, just to give you, to tell you guys what it is, the TRT boxing uh, simulator that I tend to run for the picks has Wilder winning by 69, which is, is, is a number that the higher the number, the better the better it is. And then the number really, where it comes from is where the simulator, how the simulator works, but just for now, for this purpose, uh, I just let you know that it's 69. And uh, Tyson Fury is at 12. Again, usually in a fight this close, especially when the Vegas odds are this close, uh, it would be something like while they're at 69, Tyson Fury at 60, or the other way around. Whether if, if Tyson Fury is is, uh, is going to be the winner, but in this case, 69 Wilder, Tyson Fury at 12. Now here's the crazy part: uh, the simulator also gives us a percentage or a chance for us to. Let me see, because the number looks a little off. Yeah, it gives us a chance for us to. Uh, uh, get a higher chance or, or uh, get a, pre a better prediction when it comes to the outcome of the fight. Um, so it actually says, not only is the spread extremely wide, so the, the simulator believes that Wilder is going to win basically for sure, but also says that he has a 90% chance of getting a knockout in the fight, or, or winning by a knockout, which to me is crazy. Again, the whole reason I'm making this video is because I have, I have mentally and emotionally, and uh, you know, just the entire time the, since this fight has been signed, I've had in mind that Tyson Fury is gonna outbox Wilder the entire time, um, and I still do. I still feel like Tyson Fury uh, is going to outbox Wilder. But what's never happened to me is where I run the numbers, and all of a sudden, the our simulator comes up with not only a completely different opposite prediction, which tends to happen every now and then, but not only that, it's very wide. So the, the simulator really believes that Wilder will win and with a 90% chance of a knockout. Uh, and that to me is pretty crazy. So my head has Tyson Fury, but if I was to bet money on this, I would definitely bet money on Wilder. And if I was to try to really make some money on it, I would bet money on Wilder winning my knockout.